everyone to CWE Wrestling Dynamite Day Petro ringside and this is the event you have been waiting for for a long time, the 50 man rumble to remember. I am joined once again at ringside by Kevin Cannon. Kevin, where have you been the last couple of weeks? Sometimes duty calls, you gotta take care of business and uh, CWE is part of my business, but then there's more in commentary I got on the go. I got a lot of things, a lot of pokers in the fire, so to speak. A lot here, of Dave. pokers in the fire. We see the CWE television champion, ATM. He is in the ring. He was anointed the number one contestant, the number one entrant by interim executive ambassador, John Cutler. He is awaiting contestant number two, 50 men, Kevin Cannon. Yeah, I think ATM got the short end of the stick on this deal. If you remember last year, ATM went on quite the run. He eliminated a good 10 guys in a row or so. He made a, a lasting impression on there, and I, I kind of was going to pick him as one of the favorites here, but entering number one, you got to have your doubts. I don't know if he's going to be there at the end. Other than the number one entrance, everybody in the locker room area, including you and I, Kevin Cannon, we're going to get the tap on the shoulder literally moments before we are set to enter the ring so we are gonna do our best to keep up with this fast and furious action you see the number two contestant la sombra and then atm going to work right away and this is our 50 man rumble to remember yeah la sombra lacks a lot in size here but He's getting an early up, upstart here on, on ATM. I can't believe that he actually got the first strike in here. But ATM, a little bit of a, Oh, I spoke a little too soon. I was going to say ATM's a little bit smarter, but that time he uh, he took a face to the mat. I don't think he's going to last past number three at this rate. I got to tell you, the what is on the line? What is the prize for this? This is a shot, a future shot, at the CWE Championship. And right now, of course, our champion is the pissed off pit bull, Robbie Royce. And Robbie Royce was set to join us at commentary this week and I see him out of the corner of my eye. He is intently watching the action. Of course, Robbie Royce is involved in it. And I don't want to call it a triangle because it has a weird connotation, but that Rex Roberts, the tattoo terminator, Dar Darren the Bomb Dalton, all three of those men involved, intertwined in the in a in a war, if you will, in, in a lack of oh! Tremendous maneuver by La Sombra, but a, a war there, and we really don't know. There goes La Sombra. To the floor he goes. That's what. That's how quickly you can get eliminated here. There's no pinfall. Sometimes you don't have to wear your opponent down. It can be as quick as getting him out of that over that top rope, and he's gone. And here's a guy I haven't seen in a while, William Bobbin. Wow, unbelievable. And there's something he hasn't seen in a while. ATM's boot. Unbelievable. And another man. Is, ATM goes. has eliminated two men already. This is good news for him. He's got a little bit of time to rest before the next entrant comes in here. Absolutely. Uh, I believe it's approximately 45 to 60 seconds per combatant. I know that maybe uh, interim executive ambassador John Cutler might speed this one up a little bit because uh, we all look at him. Look at ATM oh, showing he's off. he's teasing it. He's teasing it. Again, I'm trying to get Robbie Royce's attention because, as I mentioned, the prize in this is a shot at the CWE Championship and I'm looking at Robbie Royce right now and I see that look of intent, that look on his face right now of concentration and I know he doesn't have any love for ATM. Wouldn't that be so oh, oh my! There is our next contestant, our next combatant if you will, the interim executive ambassador. Kevin Cannon, he has relinquished that role for tonight because we're looking at the big man himself, Prime Cut. John Cutler. Yeah, he's on the same level as you and I tonight. He's just another talent. Well, you maybe. He's just another talent backstage today. He's uh, you can hit him, you can close on him, you can beat the bloody hell out of him tonight. He he is a well traveled traveled veteran of the ring all over North America, Europe, Asia, Japan, Mexico, and various anywhere there's professional wrestling. You know the name John Cutler. Look at ATM with a show of disrespect to Prime Cut, John Cutler. I don't even know if John Cutler knew he was competing until today. He didn't even bring us his wrestling gear. He's in there in jeans and runners. Absolutely. But you know that he wanted a piece of ATM. And there oh he goes. Oh, my God. ATM's gone. <laughs> All right. John Cutler has eliminated Anderson Tyson Moore, our CWE television champion. And then what happened there? He just pissed himself out. John Cutler has just eliminated himself. He went after ATM. These two men do not like each other. Look at them brawling at the ringside area. The referee's trying to, trying to keep them apart, but... John Cutler, that, was that a tactical error or, or does he not need the championship shot? I think Cutler's more concerned about 
given a what for to ATM that he is concerned about getting his hands on the, on the championship gold right now. He, him and ATM uh, have a lot of bad blood. They are not friends, I'll tell you that much. And, and he cares more about beating him than he does about uh, getting his hands on some gold. Our next contestant is in the ring. He is awaiting his uh, his uh, next the next contestant. Heavy metal. This man has been on a terror as of late here in CWE. Yeah, I love this guy. He looks like he's primed up too. Like He is not a guy who just kind of wanders in with no game plan. I guarantee you he's thinking two, three, four, twenty 20 steps ahead right now. This is a guy who's a smart, smart competitor. Oh, and here's the former CWE champ, AJ Sanchez. AJ Sanchez, is, uh, his troubles as a solo grappler have been well documented as of late, but he comes into the the rumble to remember just fired up and he is taking it pillar to post with heavy metal and that's the thing with the rumble to remember you can be on a, a 20 fight losing streak you win this you get a title shot flat out absolutely like you said flat out look at AJ Sanchez the man we saw him go down to defeat last week at the at the hands of kamikaze and as, as I mentioned he's been struggling as of late but now heavy metal getting the the better of the former champion, the former tag team champion, AJ Sanchez. Yeah, and the man, one of the men he held the tag team pedals with is in here tonight. That's the Man Beast Rhino. Oh man, oh man alive, you're right. Rhino will be in here, we'll see. Former CFL great with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, Troy Westwood, and we're gonna see a few surprises too. A few returning legends. What's Heavy Metal doing? Well, he, he can't get in there. He, he's not making the same mistake that AJ makes in all his single matches. He doesn't get in there and just spend all his energy right away. He picks and chooses his shots. Right now, he's got AJ down. He doesn't need to pin him. He doesn't need to submit him. Kevin Cannon, listen to that music. Listen to that music. Could we see a reunited big sexy beast in this? Oh, I don't know. I don't like the sounds of this for, for heavy metal. And, and the thing to question, too, is when was the last time that, that Chevy and Sanchez even... There he is! Together? There he is! Chevy, Chevy, Chevy the Chevy big, Chevy sexy back from injury. Back from injury. Maybe this is going to get... This, this will give AJ Sanchez the lift he needs to get his, basically, career back on track here in CWE. This is some familiar ground for both these men right now, being in the ring together. Oh! Uh, tremendous right hands! Heavy Chevy, AJ Sanchez just hammered it, giving it to Heavy Metal. And Heavy Metal can't even keep track of where it's coming from. And look at this. Oh, we've seen this before. The tag team unity. Oh, I feel like these that's... guys have never been separated. Yeah, well, they, they, they've fought so many matches together that, that they're always on the same page. They're always the, the same step, same pace as each other. They know exactly what the other one's doing, exactly what the other one's thinking. These guys have spent a lot of time together. Heavy Metal into the corner, and both men. Landing, tremendous blow to heavy metal. And now look at this. Oh, look at these guys. They are happy, reunited, and it feels so good. I don't know if that hot dog is such a hot idea because here comes my pick to win the Rumble to remember, Big Cliff Corleone. Oh, who is going to eliminate Big Cliff? Kevin Cannon, that is absolutely unbelievable. 400 pounds, the big sexy beast. He breaks the clothesline and comes back with double clothesline just of his over. Unbelievable. Oh, if anybody will be able to eliminate Big Cliff in this one, Kevin Chevy into the corner. He comes back big, back body drop, 300 plus pounds, up and over. And look at Heavy Metal on top of him. This isn't a regular wrestling match, Heavy Metal. You're not going to get a pinfall victory. Big Cliff now with the other half, the big sexy beast, AJ Sanchez, in the corner. Now the odds are a little more even here. Now we got two guys separating the tag team, separating the big sexy beast, keeping them apart, keeping them from basically teaming up on, on people. Unbelievable. That is a lot of meat in the ring right now. Heavy metal going to work on Kevin Chevy in one corner and big clef. He's hammered. Now AJ Sanchez firing back. Oh, our next contestant, he is set to come out. We're familiar with that music too. And here he comes to the ring. Kamikaze, the man from Dimension X, the man who just recently got a pinball victory, like you said earlier, over AJ Sanchez. Oh, off the top, sending the big man Chevy down to the mat. Oh, goes after the man he defeated last week, AJ Sanchez. Big clothesline, the heavy metal, and then you're not going to put Big Clip down that easily. No, not a guy that weighs as little, if you will, of Kamikaze. No disrespect in that one. Look at Big Cliff, he goes over. Oh, tremendous reversal, tremendous elbows to the head of Big Cliff. And Kamikaze now met, and no, 
No, he was not eliminated. Big clip thought he did. And look at that. Kamikaze back in the ring in this match continues. Kamikaze to the top. Drop kick. Big Cliff is down. Big Cliff is down. We don't often see Cliff Corleone off his feet. And now Kevin Chevy and Kamikaze having a bit of a uh, coalition, if you will, on the big man, Big Cliff. But you don't want to get him down. When he's down, that's an extra move, and you got to get him up and get him over. You want to keep him on his feet, reel him back to the ropes, and then put him over. Here you got three guys trying to get Cliff Corleone over, and, and it doesn't look like they're having too much luck here. They're going to need at least four or five guys more, and here comes a blast from the past, Bugsy Slug. Bugsy Slug? I have not seen that man in years. I don't even know where he'd where he even hang his hat. The retirement home, I'm thinking. Oh, he comes in with a world of fire. He is going to work on all the men. Big clothesline in the corner. Bugsy Slug going to work on Cliff Corleone. I don't know if I want to annoy Big Cliff like that, Bugsy Slug. No, he's stirring up the bee's nest right there doing that. He's uh, he's going to regret running in and taking that cheap shot on Cliff. I think. Oh, he just sent Kevy Chevy in to Kamikaze. And I don't know if that's going to that's gonna cause a bit of a problem down the road for Bugsy Slug. That's for sure. AJ Sanchez now hammering him. Hammer him with a, with a big right hand. And now he is going, trying to get Bugsy Slugs over. In the other corner, Kamikaze. He is in harm's way right now with Big Cliff. A couple tremendous shoulder blocks. Kevin, I think we're going to lose track at some point when these men come into this ring because I'm looking at one thing. I know you're looking at one thing. And then in the corner. Oh, look at this. There's the other half of the Reservoir Dogs. Bugsy Slugs tag team partner, Dirty Dick Walker. Dirty got, Dick Walker. Where did he come from? We got two tag teams in there now. This could get interesting. Tag team of yesteryear and today's hottest tag team, Big Sexy Beast. Legendary tag team, Bugsy Slugs and Dirty Dick Walker. What a blast from the past. And look at all this meat in the ring. Oh my, AJ Sanchez just took a double clothesline. He is down. And you see Bugsy Slug now and Dirty Dick Walker. A little blast from the past tag team action going to work on AJ Sanchez. And as you see on your television right now, Big Cliff is entangled with Kevy Chevy. Oh, they're trying oh, to get Kamikaze almost out again. That guy's got some agility and athleticism. He's keeping himself in there and, and he's doing a good job of it. I was going to say he's kind of like a cat with nine lives, that's for sure. Well, he's spent about three of them so far, so six, three down, six to go. Absolutely. There are 50 combatants in tonight's Rumble to remember. This is our main event, CWE Wrestling Game Petro Ringside. Joined once again by Kevin. There he is! Joined by Kevin Cannon. Oh, no. This is one of my favorites of all time. You want to talk about a veteran. You want to talk about a man with years and years and years of ring experience. Beautiful Bobby J. He is now entered the ring. You want to talk about somebody who disgusts me. Then you can talk about beautiful Bobby Jay. Why would he disgust you, Kevin Cannon? Look how he conducts himself. Look at his actions. Like He's wearing pink, for God's sake. He's beautiful, beautiful, the beautiful one, Bobby J. He is up into the corner. Look at that. He has got Dirty Dick Walker, and he is now going to work in the corner. He pulls down the straps, and you know what that means. He is all business. Oh! Yeah, he's in there 10 seconds. He's already half naked. Oh! oh we don't need, don't to, need see to see that. We don't need to see that. Good grief. Barons, get your time. Oh! Look at Kevy Chevy. He is rubbing Bugsy Slug's nose right into it, if you will. Well, that takes Brown Nose into a whole new level. Unbelievable. And now, I don't know if Bugsy Slug's was eliminated or just simply bailed out. Yeah, I don't blame him for wanting to get out of there. Hey, we got to take a quick break. The Rumble to Remember continues. I go to Muscles by Myers because... I trust them. The staff is phenomenal. You come in, they're always positive, they're always happy to see you. I walked in there not knowing a thing about supplements and the staff there showed me everything I need to know. I lost about 40 pounds and then put on about 10 pounds of muscle. I've gotten stronger, I've had more energy. I go to Muscles My Myers because they offer great advice, competitive pricing and they care about helping you achieve your goals. If I can do it, you can do it. The official hotel of CWE in Winnipeg is the Clarion Hotel at 1445 Portage Avenue. For more information, go to www.clarionhotel.com. In need of a professional photo shoot or photos for your event? Call Dwight Lowen Photography for all your needs. Visit www.dwightlowen.com. You think I'm overrated. When in Nipua, stop into Mr. Ribs, an official sponsor of the CWE. Located at 15 Main Street West. Drop by today. People patiently waiting. 
I came up from the basement. I don't trust. Have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler? What about working behind the scenes in professional wrestling? Well, now's your chance. The CWE Elite Wrestling Academy is now accepting students. Learn from the best the Canadian wrestling's elite has to offer by signing up today. Our trainers have traveled the world from Canada and the U.S. all the way to Mexico and Japan, been featured on TV and pay-per-view all across the world. All you have to do is send an email to info at cwecanada.ca to get the ball rolling. Make your dreams come true and contact Canadian Wrestling's Elite today. and Big Jess Youngblood has just entered the fray. This is the 50-man rumble to remember. Look at him go to town. He's got Kamikaze, and he just handsome. Oh, my. Pure power. You're talking about strength and power. Big Jess Youngblood is a guy who is just pure power. He has just eliminated Dirty Dick Walker and AJ Sanchez, hoping to maybe quash some of the momentum. He goes over to Big Cliff Corleone, 400 pounds. I can't believe this. 400 pounds. He is after him right now. Big no Jess chance. Youngblood. No chance. He won't do that. He can't do that. He, he's not that strong. No way. He is. Oh my God. He just dumped him. Big Jess Youngblood has eliminated SOA founding member Big Cliff Corleone. Unbelievable. Even Cliff Corleone can't believe it. Jess Youngblood's got some adrenaline going right now. I bet he can't feel that. But after this rumble, his back is going to be sore. You see him, he's a little bit dazed right now. J.J. Sanchez has enter entered the fray when we were on commercial. And he is going over to Kamikaze. Oh, headed towards the ring. Rex Roberts. Rex Roberts is a gritty, tough guy. I actually went over to Rex Roberts' place once to help him out with a CWE contract. You know what he offered me in my coffee? Jack Daniels. That's all he had. No cream, no sugar. Jack Daniels. He has just eliminated... I can't see it. He has eliminated Big Jess Youngblood. Rex Roberts is coming into the ring with a basically on fire. Big shot to Kamikaze. Big shot to Kevin Chevy. Oh, what a Whoa. tremendous knife edge. Oh, my. And he is ready for a fight. He is squared off right now. He's got J.J. Sanchez. And J.J. Sanchez, he wants to... Look at this. J.J. Sanchez, one half of the Super Friends, he just wants to make friends. He is looking to our control panel over there. He has cued the music. What, what's he doing? Oh my! Is he doing a, a country dance for him? This is a little line dancing. I think I'm at the Palomino Club. Wait, Rex, Rex Roberts is a cowboy, but he's not this kind of cowboy. Heavy metal Rex Roberts cannot believe what... I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. And, oh my! And the look of disgust on Rex Roberts' face here. This, this is just infuriating him. He's not going to be friends. Oh, oh well, they ducked the clothesline. And down goes Heavy Metal. Down goes Rex Roberts. Boot, scoot, boogie. It was JJ Sanchez having a little fun in the 50-man rumble to remember. I got to give these guys credit. They got, they got some footwork in there. I'll give them that. Absolutely. And AJ Sanchez has just almost tried to gain revenge from last week's loss. It's a kamikaze. You see that cat kamikaze? I think he's on about life number five or six now. Absolutely. Rex Roberts now taking a tremendous double axe handle from Kevy Chevy. You can see some of these guys that have been here for in here for a while, like Kevy Chevy, AJ Sanchez, Heavy Metal Canadian. The, the fatigue's starting to sit on these guys. They, they, they've seen a good dozen guys come and go so far in this rumble, and, and it's really evident that these guys are tired, these did you, guys are exhausted. Did you just see that tremendous shot that now Kevin Chevy has taken, and now, no, no, AJ, JJ Sanchez has taken, AJ Sanchez got it first, and now look at beautiful Bobby J, he's in the corner, who is he working over Kevin Cannon, my vision is getting kind of obscured, oh, oh, he's in there with Heavy Metal, and he just gave Heavy Metal a beauty buster. You bet, Blake Broadway now entering one half of MAN, they've been involved in that Tremendous feud. Oh yeah, he's gonna inject some energy into this rumble right now. All these guys that are tired and exhausted, I predict Blake Broadway is gonna dump some of them right over the top. Here. And I gotta tell you something, 
that this this kind of a match, a, a rumble to remember, is right up Blake Broadway's alley. He does not like to fight fair. He likes to fight when there's a lot of guys in the ring, and I, I don't know where his trusty hammer is. Well, if with any luck, he'll be in there at the same time. So who knows? Maybe he maybe he's number 50. Wouldn't that be something? Big Mr. Incredible came in number 50. He'd definitely be the odds-on favorite at that point. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at this action. JJ Sanchez just, just chopped Blake Broadway. He's had enough of that kind of tomfoolery in this one. AJ Sanchez still in there. Heavy metal. Beautiful Bobby J. Kevy, Chevy, and Rex Roberts. And, of course, Jethro Hogg. He's in there, too. Oh, no. The other half of the Super Friends making his way to the ring, Corey Kincaid. Please tell me we're not going to see another dance. Oh, I, I think we may. Look at this, the two the two Super Friends now in the corner. And a bit of a... Battering ram. Absolutely. Look at that. JJ, AJ Sanchez has got it from Corey Kincaid. Like Broadway gets one, too. Do you think the Super Friends have what it takes to win this? No, definitely not. 100% not. I'm going to go on record right now. I'm going to put my life savings if the Super Friends are not winning the Rumble to remember. You're pretty certain about that one, Kevin Cannon. i got to give you credit. You're a man of your beliefs. Oh, Blake Broadway now has Corey Kincaid. Rex Roberts in the other corner. He was working over Kevy Chevy. Ooh, chop to the back. You talk about Blake Broadway being the dirty player in this game. How low down and dirty is that? I gotta tell you something, I really think that the Super Friends, given their nature, given their, their playfulness, they might have a big chance at winning this too. Oh, did you see who's on the way the ring? I see who's in the ring right now. This is the bigger half of M-A-N, Mr. Incredible. Good grief, he goes to work on J.J. Sanchez. He just chopped beautiful Bobby J. He tells his, tells his brother, come on, there's a fight to be had. And here comes the muscle. Absolutely. Mr. Incredible going to work on JJ Sanchez, both members of MAN, and that is where they are superior. The double teaming instincts of, oh! What's happening here? Oh no! JJ Sanchez, he's he's uh, channeling his inner Troy Westwood, if you will, a couple of punts to MAN, and look at him going to work! Elbow! Another elbow! A la Dusty Rhodes! Oh, and he hit Cork again! What? Oh no! I feel that perfect. I, I don't know. Oh, there. You all look alike. He just said. He did not. I heard him. I heard him with my own two ears. He, uh, I don't think Corey K likes that too much. I he? wouldn't like that. And of course, hugging it out. Oh, and both members of the Super Friends have been eliminated by M A N. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why there's no hugging in wrestling. Big history between M A M and the Super Friends, and it looks like at least at this moment that M A M has come out on top. M A N just kind of standing there plotting, waiting for. But this is a smart strategy. Take out the freshest guy when he gets in. Take out that guy that comes in full of fire. Just no, cut his legs out right from under him. I don't think it's going to be too hard for him to take out Nate Hardy here. No, Nate Hardy, of course. One half of the tag team champion, Saints of Los Angeles. Look at him. Whoa! Whoa! Up and over, and he gets the best of Mr. Incredible. He is a house of fire now unloading on Blake Broadway. Dave Petro, Kevin Cannon ringside. This is the 50 man rumble. To remember, the winner gets a shot at the CWE Championship. AJ Sanchez now back into the action after a bit of a. I can't say it was a rest, maybe just getting his bearings back, his marbles back together. He might have been unconscious for a Oh, look at Mr. Incredible. He's got Nate Hardy in a huge situation. A suplex, a double teaming suplex, if oh, you will. Blake joins him. This is not good. He just hands him off. He passed him over. He passed him over to Blake Broadway. And still, all the blood draining into the head of Nate Hardy. And now both men, he passed him over again. This is tag team wrestling in a oh. rumble to remember. What a tremendous success. We gotta take a break. The 50 men rumble to remember will continue. I go to Muscles by Myers because I trust them. The staff is phenomenal. You come in, they're always positive, they're always happy to see you. I walked in there not knowing a thing about supplements and the staff there showed me everything I need to know. I lost about 40 pounds and then put on about 10 pounds of muscle. I've gotten stronger, I've had more energy. I go to Muscles by Myers because they offer great advice, competitive pricing, and they care about helping you achieve your goals. If I can do it, you can do it. In need of a professional photo shoot or photos for your event? 
Call Dwight Lowen Photography for all your needs. Visit www.dwightlowen.com. The official hotel of CWE in Winnipeg is the Clarion Hotel at 1445 Portage Avenue. For more information, go to www.clarionhotel.com. You think I'm overrated. Be sure to check out the Club St. B, located in the heart of St. Boniface and the host of the official CWE After Parties following all Winnipeg shows. You think I'm Are you ready now? Music for CWE TV provided by the following artists. Be sure to check out all of these great artists out online. Wrestling fans, CWE returns to Rookies Sports Bar Friday, January 17th with yet another 18-plus show. Rookie Sports Bar, 201 Melrose Avenue East, inside the Central Hotel. Bell time, 8.30. Wrestling fans, get set. CWE returns in February with the Masterpiece Theater Tour featuring former WWE star Chris Masters. Wednesday, February 19th, the stars of CWE will be back in Nipawa, Manitoba with a huge live event at the Yellowhead Arena. Tickets available at Mr. Ribs. Thursday, February 20th, CWE makes its return to Morden, Manitoba with a big event at the Access Event Center. You can get your tickets online at www.diyobo.com. Winnipeg wrestling fans get set. CWE returns to the Holy Cross Gymnasium Friday, February 21st on the Masterpiece Theater Tour. Doors open at 6.30, bell time 7 o'clock. Get your tickets at Rudy's Video, Blade Hair Design, Video 1001, or go online to www.diyobo.com. Selkirk, Manitoba gets set. CW returns Saturday, February 22nd to the Memorial Hall. You can get your tickets at Blaine's at 366 Main Street. Bell time, 7 o'clock. And we wrap up the Masterpiece Theater Tour with a huge afternoon event. Sunday, February the 23rd in Mosher, Manitoba at the Broken Head River Community Hall. Get your advance tickets at the Crosstown Convenience, 301 First Street North. Again, bell time, 3 o'clock. All live events. You can get your tickets online at www.diyobo.com. And of course, check cwecanada.ca for information on all these great live events. The CWE Wrestling. Moses Luke has now entered the fray. This is the 50-man rumble to remember. Dave Petro ringside with Kevin Cannon. Kevin, I have just gotten the tap. What? No. I am going to be the next contestant in the 50-man rumble to remember. Cover for me. Okay, I'll see you in about 30 seconds. I'm not going to be that close <laughs> out of there. I'm going to win it, baby. All right, well, best of luck to you, Petro. All right, as you can see, the German juggernaut, Big Moses Luke's in there living up to his name. He's in there. Oh, he's got Jethro Hogg. Jethro Hogg's another guy that I haven't seen around the CWE in a while. Oh, and uh, we may not be seeing him for a little while now. He's heading back to the locker room. Moses Luke, another guy who could very well win it all here. Uh, he's a big guy. He's a powerful guy. And he's a guy with, you know, 15, 16 years experience. He's, he's no spring chicken. Uh, and who's he got? AJ Sanchez. And, oh, here it is. 
the music of the one, the only dynamite, Dave Petro. And he's in there. He's probably got a good 34. Oh no, he goes to the, the next oldest guy after him there. He goes, goes straight to uh, Wild Man Purple, I believe is his name. I, I don't know. I think he wrestled before I was born. And Cam Causey being launched to the court. Cam Causey's being eliminated. Oh! There he is. He spent all nine of those lives he had. Cam Causey's going to match the water. Helping Bobby J, him and Bobby J. The, the, the seniors day in the in the rumble to remember right now. All the old guys are all teaming up on each other here. This is a fair. Blake Broadway or Mr. Incredible is over there. He's taking all three of those guys at once. Bobby J and, and Dave Pedro seem to put a little alliance here. High five and handshake. Uh, Nate Hardy almost tossed him. Rex Roberts moving back in for a little more punishment. I think Rex Roberts is keeping himself busy with Nate Hardy until he can uh, find someone else that he can toss over the rope with ease. And whoa! Nate Hardy with a little reversal of his own there. A guillotine across the, the rope of the neck of Rex Roberts. That, that crushes your windpipe. That takes your ability to breathe away. And Rex Roberts is, is now resting and recovering here in the corner. I hear some music coming out here. Who do we got? Who is this coming to the ring? Big O, former tag team partner of Moses Luke, one half of perfect balance. Big O hasn't been wrestling for a while. As you can see here, Blake Broadway and Mr. Incredible, they're, they're, they're going to town on these old guys. They're, maybe, maybe I should be a fortune teller. They, they, like I said, they're, they're taking these guys out one at a time. Blake Broadway, oh, Big O and, and Moses Luke seem to relive some old moments, rekindle some old uh, good times that we used to have here. And Big O up to the top. A little bit of a tougher time than he used to have getting up there, but he's up there. And boom, Swanton! Oh, right to the body of the wild man. I don't know if he's dead. I think he might very well be. But what's he doing here? Oh, wheelbarrow. Oh, ho, ho. splash right down. These guys haven't teamed together in at least a decade, and, and, and they're going like it's just yesterday. Oh, Nate Hardy. Oh, Blake Broadway showing dynamite Dave Petro. Why he shouldn't make those remarks about him, I guess. Uh, if I were in there with these two guys, I'd, I'd like to think that they take good care of me. But oh, they're, uh, they're they're showing Dave a little thing or two about what the rest of today have to offer. And oh, what's happening here? I think Big O just turned against Moses Luke. He's got his fun in with his double team stuff, and now he's trying to eliminate him. And Moses Luke, he's been active. He's been in there for week in, week out for the last umpteen years, and, and he just he just got the better of Big O. Matt Fairley and a man who recently came back here to the CWE. Oh, in there like a house of fire. Who did he just toss out? Wild man, gone. He grabbed Dynamite Dave Petro. Uh-oh. Dave Petro holding on for dear life. But I think Matt Fairley, Matt Fairley is one of the strongest guys we've got here. Yeah, out goes Petro. Well, I guess uh, so much for Dave Petro versus Robbie Royce at our anniversary show this year. But, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe he'll get a title shot some other way, some other day. Dave! Oh, Dave still, still uh, fighting his way up and limping his way back over the booth here. We'll give him a second to catch his breath and uh, grab himself some water, some protein, uh, whatever he needs. Oh, Moses Luke limited! Matt Fairling just hauled him over the top rope. Matt Fairling using his strength just to kick these guys out here. No, no, not, not, not Mr. Incredible, not Mr. Incredible. Oh, oh, oh. Fairling out! Ah, oh, Blake Broadway is a smart guy. Oh. Oh my! Dave, oh. you need me to call an ambulance. I'll be okay in just a second. I don't know what I ever did against Matt Fairlane. Uh, Moses Luke, you just saw him toss Matt Fairlane out. Those guys, I think there's some unsettled business there. Dave Petro back in the... Oh man, I got myself. I got a hand in the by and Kevin Cannon. This is not definitely a, a sport for maybe someone like myself. I think the broadcast booth is a lot safer place for me to be <laughs> right now. <laughs> I gotta hand it to uh, to, uh, to uh, Matt Fairley though. I don't know what I ever did to annoy him, but then Moses Luke is talking. Oh, look at Bobby J. <coughs> oh, he's sitting next to uh, uh, a heavy-chested woman, shall we say, in the front row. Oh. How come I didn't get tossed out that way? I would have still been in there if I and saw her. The tag champs here. We might have a preview of what, what a future tag team uh, championship matchup will be here. We got the tag champs, TLC and Nate Hardy in there uh, with uh, Blake Broadway and Mr. Incredible. MAM versus the Saints here. I gotta get my breath back in the can of things with a little the load in my absence. And, uh, and now you see in the corner, TLC. 
This Tommy Lee Curtis, look at this tag team. His head's grazing Cooper. the light there. Oh, Blake Broadway, the smarter of the two and the craftier of the two. I, I, I gotta say, you know, I, I've had some bad words, and, and, I, and I really do think that guy is a bit of a drug, but you see him a tremendous mover like that by Blake Broadway, and you know that man, he has the technical wrestling skill, not just a brawler, not just a purveyor of a hammer. A pure, gifted, and dedicated athlete, and formerly known as Scarlet Stooge, now back to being Scotty Raver. We've seen this before in the past Rumble. He's in there with the glow sticks, he's in there with the we haven't seen since his uh, altercation with heavy metal, and uh, we have seen this before. Scotty Raver, he is basically what, what supplying. He, he is handing out some of his magic party pills. Please tell me those are Tic Tacs. I would uh, maybe think that might be the case. He is handing them to each of the competitors here. Bobby J's got one. Debbie Chevy's got one. AJ Sanchez has got one. Did Blake Broadway and Mr. Incredible take one too? No, those guys I don't think would do something like that. He has taken each one, he's handed out the party pills, if you will. <laughs> is this the Macarena? I, I believe it is so. So I think we've seen this a couple of years ago, Kevin Cannon, as I still struggle to, this, to this get my breath back. Uh, who is the next contestant? There is no next contestant. The Macarena is playing. And Scotty Raver has passed out the party pills in this, the 50-man rumble to remember. Whatever those party pills were, maybe the ibuprofen, or I'm not sure what they were. They I don't to think it's ibuprofen. Taking it effect on I don't, I don't, I don't think you're going to hear. Oh, there no. it is. <laughs> There's Caveman Broda. Caveman Broda. Give me a Oh, Scotty Raver, he is going to give a pill to Caveman Broda. Broda says no. Broda, Broda says no. And Broda's pulling out some of his own! Broda's got some of his own party pills! Well, that guy's got medication from A to Z. I don't think he's, he sees. I don't think he lives in reality. Oh no! Now what? I don't think I've ever seen Caveman Broda dance. I'm not really sure. He's gonna need a hip replacement after this. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have seen just about everything right now in this 50-man rumble to remember. Is this the second dance-off we've seen in this rumble? Well, we saw a little... Yeah, got... this, this is absolutely... Look at AJ Sanchez! I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. This is disgusting. This, this infuriates me. Who, who does this? Like, they, they got in there and they're... they're taking... That's it. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Guess who's next? <laughs> See you later, Dave. See you at the end of the rumble when I win it. <laughs> Kevin Cannon has just left the broadcast area, and he is the next contestant in the 50-man rumble to remember you see him. I was wondering why he wasn't wearing a shirt at the broadcast booth. I think he knew exactly when he was ready to go in this one. Now he just shoves Cape Man Broda. Cape Man Broda, he just shoves him. Everybody seems to have been kind of snapped out of a little party dance, if you will. Oh! AJ Sanchez and, J and and Kevin Chevy unloading now on Kevin Cannon. Get him! Get him! Oh, oh, sorry. Easy come, easy go, Kevin Cannon. We're going to take a quick break. The 50-man rumble to remember continues. Bring CWE to your community. If you're a part of an organization, business, sports team, or fundraising effort, you now have the opportunity to bring the unique experience that is CWE live to your community to aid in your efforts. For more information on how to bring CWE to your town, email info at cwecanada.ca.
when in Nipua, stop into Mr. Ribs, an official sponsor of the CWE. Located at 15 Main Street West. Drop by today. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling, Dave Petro ringside, and rejoined once again by Kevin Cannon. Kevin, you were in the Rumble, the Rumble to remember even shorter time than I was. Two things. One, all those guys tuned up on me because they knew that I was afraid to win the damn thing. And secondly, this is the second time that Bro has stuck his nose in my business. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. I am going to teach Bro to a lesson. Next time he shows up at a CWE event, he has piqued my wrath and he is going to be just want to point out that beautiful Bobby J is still in the rumble and he has been on social media as of late saying that he wants to become the oldest CWE champion in history and so far he has been lasting in the rumble and he's taken a few I guess breaks as it will and he's taking another one right now in the corner of your screen you can see that oh my he had, look at this man beast rhino just laying out everyone that's what the people have, are here to see the man beast rhino he just Hammers, heavy metal, and look at this, Rob Stardom now going to work. I've taught him well. You have, you've got a kind of a one-two punch, you get eliminated, Rob Stardom is now in. Always double up on your odds. Look at that spider. During the commercial break, spider entered the fray, and he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with oh, Red Thunder. Oh, oh, oh. And now, the attention is focused, spider, and Rhino slugging it out, duking it out right in the middle of the ring. And these are two guys with heads like potatoes. You can't knock out Spider, and you can't knock out Rhino. Head like a potato. I like that, Kevin Cannon. Rhino off the ropes. Hammer, Spider. Spider comes back with a big, big right hand of his own. Two heavyweights right here. We haven't seen Spider in almost a year here in CWE. Yeah, unfortunately, Spider's uh, come across some injuries in, in, in recent years, which is too bad because he's a hell of a talent and a hell of a wrestler. But who knows? Maybe here he'll get his title shot and we'll see a, a return uh, towards the Spider. And Brian Rich, what is Brian Rich doing with the these first All Star? Brian Rich is sting. Oh, and he got it. He got it good. The guys were duking it up before Brian Rich and they turned their attention to the first All-Star and Spider basically taking over where he left off with a tremendous suplex to oh. Brian Rich and I don't know if Brian Rich even knows where he is right now. Oh, I think uh, Brian, oh, if he didn't know where he was then he definitely doesn't know now. Listen to this crowd, the gore by Rhino absolutely levels the first All-Star, Brian Rich, still in the ring, the Spider. Red Thunder, he's going one-on-one -on -one in the corner with Rex Roberts, heavy metal. Still duking out AJ Sanchez. He had to have been within the first five guys that have entered the Rumble today. Uh, AJ Sanchez has got to be feeling the effects of being in that Rumble for 30 plus minutes now. He is definitely tired. Heavy metal, another guy that's been in there a long, long time. Santa is here! Santa, what does he have? What is he holding? He has got a present! He has got a present! For everyone here at CWE, a little late, but better late than never. He is handing out, it looks like he's handing out Christmas cookies. They better not be more happy pills. I hope not. Uh, Rob Stardust better not eat one of them. Like Santa's been eating a lot of those cookies, too. He gets one over to Red Thunder. <laughs> oh, you think so? There's something. All of a sudden, look at the look on Rhino's face, Kevin Cannon. I don't think he's too amused that Santa Claus has entered. The Rumble to remember. Well, you're, you're looking at a guy who's been in the ring with guys like Undertaker and King, and I don't think uh, he's too happy about having to go one on one with Santa Claus here. I don't know. I mean, how are you going to eliminate? Who wants to throw Santa over the ropes? Oh! oh Gore! Gore! Oh, Rhino! Obviously, not a big fan of Christmas. He has just absolutely leveled Santa Claus. I think, I think Rhino may be an idiot. And he just tosses. Santa over the top rope, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, Santa. Go on, Santa, back to the North Pole with you. And then he turns his attention in the corner on Heavy Metal Rhino, Heavy Metal. Oh, into the fray, hot shot Danny Duggan, he goes right after AJ Sanchez. And of course, last week on television, they were talking about AJ was hinting and he was gonna be the one that's gonna toss hot shot Danny Duggan over the top rope, as well as the other guys. And he has been in the ring a long time. Yeah, but look at Danny Duggan, basically a house of fire. He oh, no, 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 no! Your man is eliminated! And Brian Rich is eliminated! Dropkick! Spider over the top! Hotshot Danny Duggan has just eliminated three men in a row and 
turns his sights to heavy metal. Come on now, heavy. Oh, textbook rock kicks. Oh my. And he puts on the Santa hat. The fans absolutely going bananas. Hot track, Danny Duggan. Basically, the odds on favor, in my opinion, Kevin Cannon, because he has won this event many, many times. And you saw several weeks back on CWE television, he won a 15 man Royal Rumble. And AJ Sanchez, basically, maybe what he said was coming true. He almost eliminated Hot Shot Danny Duggan. I think every wrestler in the locker room is aware of Danny Duggan's streak here at these Rumbles, and he's won two in a row. And every wrestler has got their eyes on him. And oh, Mike Mission in, and Mike Mission out. Mike Mission? This man, he had a, even a shorter tenure in the Rumble, in the Rumble to remember than you and I, Kevin Cannon. I still have bruises on me. I got a bad shot from Blake Ross. Yeah, you might want to get your ribs checked out, guys. I tell you what, I think I'm just going on adrenaline here. Heavy metal almost oh, eliminated. Just about. AJ Sanchez, I gotta tell you something. You know, I talked about this earlier about him getting his singles career back on track and maybe a little spark of Kevin Chevy, one half of the Big Sexy Beast, joining the other half of the Big Sexy Beast in the Rumble to remember. Maybe that has sparked on AJ Sanchez. Rex Roberts, hot shot Daddy Duggan going in the corner, basically trading chops. Oh, more, more grapplers entering the fray. The Rebel, Bobby Collins, the ultimate underdog. He goes right to work on Rex Roberts. Those, those, those guys have a history. And now he is basically coming in. He's going after Rhino. I don't know if that's such a wise thing. And now attacking heavy metal. Bobby Collins is one of the scrappiest guys I know. He doesn't care how big you are, how strong you are, how old you are, who you are. He'll go after you. Oh, and Danny Duggan kicks Bobby Collins out. Bobby Collins hanging on there. Bobby Collins might be able to, to save some face here. I don't know. It looks like Red Thunder's kind of eyeing him up. And AJ Sanchez. I gotta tell you something though, Kevin Cannon, I have never seen Hotshot Danny Duggan so focused as I see him here tonight in the 50-man rumble to remember. Well, he's had a year to train for this, and ever since the last one, he's been looking forward to this one to get his title shot again. You know, and he has not had a significant title shot since back in January on the anniversary show, because at that time, then executive master Shane Madison costing him his chance at the CWE Championship. That's right, and Danny Duggan knows that if he wins this, he, that catapults him to the top of the list. He's got a title shot. And, and Danny Duggan is one of the hardest training wrestlers, uh, dare I say, if not the country in the world. Danny Duggan, if you've ever seen this guy, he lives, eats, and breathes wrestling. Everything he does so, revolves around his wrestling career. And, and, and he's not only training hard, he deploys strategy, he studies of the game. I, you can't talk to him sometimes because he is so focused on his opponent. And I try to get him, get a, a message to him, a text message, a phone call. The man is always on the move. He was in Japan several weeks ago. He was in Edmonton last weekend. The man travels extensively across Canada and around the world, flying his trade in the ring. And you see the big man, Cannibal, now has entered the fray. Yeah, Cannibal is a big, plodding, scary guy. Plodding is a great word. He should, he should be able to toss out a guy or two here when he's fresh, but strong, yes, powerful, yes, smart, not so much. Not so much. I'm going to agree with you there, Kevin Cannon. Basically like a marble rattling around in a tin can. I'm talking about Cannibal. Got two monkeys fighting over one banana up Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Oh, AJ Sanchez, hot shot Daddy Duggan going to the corner. AJ leveling. These guys, I would I would consider them friends, wouldn't you? I, I believe so. They got a long history together. I've, I've, I've seen them out in the bar together. Danny Duggan's not really, uh, you know. I've seen them at Club St. B, the official after party of Red Thunder now has been eliminated. But we heard AJ Sanchez, the strong words last week, him saying that he was going to be the one that eliminates Rhino now. He oh, almost eliminated Rex Roberts. Heavy metal now. He is. Has he eliminated Rhino? No, no Rhino is not out. out. Oh, heavy metal better watch out. Oh, and he is going to work now at Rex Roberts. He is angry. Look at the look in the eyes of Rhino. Hanging on. He's oh, back in. my. He has now eliminated oh, Rex Roberts. Rhino. Rhino. Both men have been eliminated. Rex Roberts eliminated by Rhino. At the same time, Rhino eliminated himself and, with the momentum. And Petro, look, look over at Robbie Royce right now. He just let a sigh of relief out that he does not have to spend the time. I, I think I know or Rex Roberts. I think I've almost seen a smile on the face. Oh my, look at this. Rory Diamond returning here to the CWE. We haven't seen that man in years. 
No, another man who injuries got the better of, but uh, but he's back in there. He looks to be like uh, he's already getting his uh, his ball rattled inside his head too. Cannonball has been eliminated. No, he has not been eliminated. The referee right there. This is getting harder and harder, and I don't know if maybe uh, my eyes are starting to, to swell up a little bit from some of the tremendous punishment I took. Oh, your former protege, yeah. Dick Blood, has entered the fray. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm, I'm, I guess you're glad not to be in there right now. I, I'm a little upset that guys like Rhino and Brett Roberts aren't in there to beat him. Oh boy, Corey Diamond now hammering AJ Sanchez with some big kicks to the corner. Dick Blood in there, he just levels Cannibal with a headbutt. I don't know if that's such a wise idea. And Dick Blood going to work on Cannibal in the corner, over the ropes. Another chop. No, oh, not much that Dick Blood does is a wise idea. Oh, and a big chop. He gets it. Beautiful Bobby J still in the ring as well. And he is basically kicking, stomping, if you will. Over in the other corner, the rebel Bobby Collins. Hammer it. Hot shot, Danny Duggan. These guys need to have been on different sides of the page at different times. Now, beautiful Bobby J joining in in the melee. I can't, I got a hand it, like I said a few moments ago. Beautiful Bobby J is still in this thing. He might just get a shot at Robbie Royce. He could win. Wouldn't that be something? And going back to Cannibal here, plodding around the ring still. Yeah, like you said, big, he's strong. He just got Duggan. cut down to size by Hunter and Danny Duggan. The one thing I will give him Cannibal's favor, he doesn't get higher. He's, he's on the same speed for third to finish. It could be a five minute match or an hour match. Never seen him win before. No. Corey Diamond still in there. He just gives a shot to your former protege, Dick Blood. The Rebel Bobby Collins in there. Cannibal. And you see Sicko. Yeah, Sicko's been a little lost lately with Elmeri. He's been kind of on his own. Just, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't think this guy knows even how to sign a wrestling contract. Where is Marius, Kevin Cannon? I would think there might be some sort of secret society of evil minded managers. Where is Marius right now? Would you know the scoop? I do know the scoop. Oh, uh, you're, you're basically you're kind of shutting me out of the information. That's my job. In this place. Oh, and Tyler Colton hits the The blue eyed idol hits the ring. Tyler Colton in there. He's been on a tear lately, too. Just got back from a uh, tour down in Texas. Yep. And, and he's a guy who just not too long ago was a bright eyed rookie at CWB, and now he's one of our top stars. Two separate. Uh, sides of the tag team's coin. Tyler Colton, we just saw him eliminate. Who did he just throw out of the ring? Now he just threw out Rex Roberts. Uh, that was Dick Blood he just threw. He threw out Dick Blood. Oh, yeah, that's why you're smiling. And now Sicko, AJ Sanchez, has just no. He's not. I think he did. He eliminated Sicko. But what I was trying to say is uh, Tyler Colton, uh, basically on a bit of a leave of his tag team, of, uh, of uh, his tag team with Menfolo, M Max. Basically embarking on a solo career with great success. The opposite side of the coin, AJ Sanchez, separated from Kevin Chevy, been basically faltering in solo competition. And you know where Mendelo's been, have you? Don't you, Dave Mendelo? Where has Mendelo been? Mendelo is down at the trial of WWE. That's right, absolutely. Momentary lapse of judgment there. Gibby Guerrero has now entered the fray. Oh my! AJ Sanchez going for the ride. Oh, and he's gonna be dizzy. CWE Radio, hot shot Danny Duggan went one on one with Mentolo recently and uh, Mentolo of course he is a legendary star not only in Canada, Japan, North America, Mexico, all over the world and of course yes he's been down in Florida with the WWE as of late flying his trade. Absolutely. Oh! AJ Sanchez, he eliminated Gibby Guerrero and then out of nowhere hot shot Danny Duggan has nearly eliminated formerly one half big sexy beasts, AJ Sanchez. I cannot believe how long Sanchez has been in there for. For a guy who's been on a full streak like him, I think this is the first step in the right direction for him anyway. And the conditioning doesn't seem to be an issue because he is in there, he is not looking like he's any tired. Oh boy, number 50 entrant, the former C uh, CFL kicker, Troy West. Look at the clotheslines! This is Troy Westwood's first professional wrestling match, if you will, and now basically hammers heavy metal, and he's going up. So black! Oh, oh. Where did that come from? Troy Westwood, former, uh, former CFL star, now of course.
course from TSN Radio, and he has basically suplexed heavy metal out of his tights, and now has eliminated Tyler Colton, Troy Westwood. A lot of athletes, when they retire, they spend their time on the golf course. Troy Westwood has been his time at the gym. Look at this guy. This man is muff. He is in shape. Unbelievable. What a debut. Now, we've seen him as a special referee. We've seen him in the boxing ring. But Troy Westwood now a competing right here in CWE. And listen to this crowd. They love him. They love him. It may not be 33,000 at Investors Group Field. But now, AJ Sanchez, it looks like he is at risk of being tossed out by hot truck Danny Duggan and the CFL legend Troy Wilson. Heavy Wesson. metal right in there. Heavy Trouble metal from behind. Two for the price of one. Heavy metal has eliminated Troy Westwood. Oh, just as I was thinking that we're going to see a, tra a championship match between Robbie Rice and Troy Westwood. Heavy Metal has ended that dream, if you will. Could you imagine if Troy Westwood would have went on to face Robbie Rice and win the CFE Championship? He would have been the first blue bomber to win anything in 23 years. Kevin Cannon, we are down to the final four. Beautiful Bobby J, Heavy Metal, AJ Sanchez, and Hotshot Danny Duggan. This is for all the marbles. Four men left. 46 men have already been eliminated. This, now the last man standing will get a shot at the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce. And Robbie Royce now is basically on his feet. He is watching the final four, if you will. Who's your pick of these four, Pedro? You gotta go with hot shot Danny Duggan, Kevin. You know what? As much as I don't like the guy, he is the odds on favorite. He is one of the four. He knows what it takes. But the factor in that one is AJ Sanchez because AJ Sanchez has that chip on his shoulder and he has basically said he's going to eliminate hot shot Danny Duggan. And he is now going to town, turns his attention to beautiful Bobby J. And the thing to keep in mind too is Danny Duggan, our least poor man, is the only one who came in in the latter half of the round. Bobby J, AJ Sanchez, and been all been there for a long, long time. Whoa! Did you see that? I saw that. I can't believe it with my own eyes. Beautiful Bobby J. Oh, heavy metal came from behind as Bobby J was involved with AJ Sanchez and Heavy Metal has eliminated beautiful Bobby J. Oh, he gets a clothesline for his efforts from Hot Shot Danny Duggan. Big body slam, we're down to the final three. Danny Duggan, AJ Sanchez and Heavy Metal. Drop kick, textbook drop kick, Kevin Cannon. Something else, Heavy Metal. Oh, oh my God. He has eliminated AJ Sanchez. Hot Shot left. Danny Duggan, the final two. And look at AJ Sanchez, he can't believe that Danny Duggan, the two men who have traveled the roads of professional wrestling together since they were youngsters, has eliminated his friend, AJ Sanchez. What about Heavy Chats and Golden Bowl that Bobby J was sitting next I think to Bobby J might be back with her. Oh, we're down to the final two. As I said, my odds on favorite. I'm not calling this one, but I believe I can feel the momentum. I can hear the energy of the crowd. It's going to be Hot Shot Danny Duggan. He is just has to dispose of one more man. Danny Duggan's up and over. I think that's it. I think that's it. Danny he... Duggan's going out. Why was he distracted? I don't. I didn't see that. His attention has been was turned. And now heavy metal. Now it's he might just be moments away from the biggest Does upset. Touch? I don't know. They may have touched there. I don't. Uh, the referee right on top of the action. He rules this match must continue. And now hot shot Danny Duggan getting it back together after a momentary lapse there. Throws heavy metal into the turnbuckles. Now oh, reverso. Hot shot Danny Duggan up and over. We've seen this before. Oh my! Heavy metal nearly, basically throwing. Hot shot Danny Duggan, and hot shot Danny Duggan still on the ring apron. And Heavy Metal, he's up and over! He is up and over the referee right there! He's in position! No! Both feet much touch, must touch the ground, and Heavy Metal did not. And hot shot Danny Duggan, he feels the momentum off the ropes. Here he goes! Oh, Link! Dude, Heavy Metal barely hanging on there. Hanging on for dear life, if you will! Oh, but he had the semblance of mind to drop the throat of hot shot Danny Duggan over the top rope and Danny Duggan gasping for air. I can hear the popping right here at ringside. And that's still by me, my chest beating a little bit. Heavy metal up to the top. High risk maneuver on the way. I don't know why he's doing this. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. He was absolutely planted by hot shot Danny Duggan. But we, we can still see some of the effects of that top rope choke, if you will, the throw across the top rope. But yet, he is picking up heavy metal. And he may, 
The lights have gone out! The lights have gone out in our arena! I can't see a damn thing! We need some technicians on here! What is going on here? Oh! What is that? Oh my! Who is that masked man? I have no idea! Who is that masked man? He doesn't like Danny Duncan River! It's Danny Duncan Zone! Danny Duncan Zone! Heavy Metal 1! Heavy Metal! Eliminated! Hotcha, Danny Duggan! Who is that masked man, Kevin Cannon? I don't know who that is. He's just standing there. He's not reacting whatsoever. He's not celebrating. He's not... Heavy, he has a mask, so we can't see him showing any emotion. Heavy Metal is your winner. He will go on to receive a CWE Championship shot. Dave Petro, Kevin Cannon, good night!